Hello and welcome to another random review and how to. Today we are reviewing the Rockform G Rock portable wireless golf speaker. Uh, this is easy to use. It's got a magnetic strip. It has the IPX7 waterproof with um, a ceiling. It's got a rugged drop. Uh, it's resistant for up to five feet, 24 hours of playtime. So I took this speaker, I charged it, I went out golfing with it, and I think it's junk. Um, I don't know, it's got a lot of good reviews on Amazon, but uh, it just has no good sound to it. Just to run you through some of the other things, you could do an optional micro SD in here, uh, put 5,000 songs. It comes with an aux input, um, the you know quarter inch to quarter inch cable. It also comes with a USB charging cable, but no block. Uh, there's the owner's guide. It has an aluminum hook, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, 30 feet wireless, I will confirm that. You can walk pretty far from it uh, and still be connected. And it does have a really strong magnet. Now, I don't know, on the golf cart, um, you can see the magnet there. So there's the uh, little clip that comes on it. Top controls here, you got your power, your play pause. Um, this button's for answering your phone if it calls. And then you have a minus and plus for your audio, but it's also to advance your song and go back on your song. The thing about it, it's very touchy. So if you're going to just turn the volume up, you really have to push hard on these buttons. They're very stiff. Um, but when you hit this button, if you're not holding it down, it um, will skip the song. So that's a little bit annoying too. So, but if you hold it, it will beep too and let you know that the volume is all the way up. It's very directional. So the magnet here on the back, um, goes through this side and it's strong. It is a very strong magnet. I will give it that and they kind of promote it on Amazon as that very strong magnet That's about the only thing it's got going for it um, Inside of here you can see that you have your little micro SD slot. You got your quarter inch um, or eighth inch I'm sorry eighth inch jack and your little charging port um, It charges pretty quick. I did have it plugged in for about an hour and it seemed I don't know how charged it was when I got it But it worked um, the sound though, it's just so bad. It's very directional. So if you have it mounted on your golf cart like this, that sounds coming straight out. So if you're off to either side, you're not going to hear it inside the cart. I'll say it's not a bad sound. I mean, it's loud inside the cart if it's facing right at you. So if you put it up on the little bracket there, um, but when you point it out and you have it going to the golf course, you can't walk more than about 10 feet and you lose the sound quality of sound. Mm, there's no bottom end to it. Uh, it's very high. It's the mid levels are, aren't even that good. Highs I would say are okay. It's just, it's not very clear. Um, and I'm using an S22 ultra Samsung phone on this thing. And I could put a, uh, you know, a Spotify, I could put an equalizer to it, but it still provides zero bottom end to it. It is rugged. So if we want advantages of this thing, very rugged, strong magnet magnet, um, on the box, it even says that, you know, you can link two of them together. You probably would have to do that. Maybe if you buy two of them, you know, these are hundred dollars speakers. You're kind of getting what you pay for. Um, putting two together might help you with sound, but I still don't think you're going to get a lot of sound. You know, it's only putting out so much, uh, sound. How many more times can I say sound? I don't know. Uh, just, I don't know how it has so many good reviews. If you're using it around the house, maybe out on your deck or patio, it's okay for that. But if you're a bass person and you've ever used um, any kind of Bose speakers or JBLs, uh, I can't, this doesn't even hold a candle to them. There's just no bottom to it. And I, I hate speakers like that. Uh, so I'm actually returning it, but I thought I'd throw a quick review together on it. If you have questions, I have used it just a little bit, um, but I just, I don't, I don't like it. I think it's a very junky speaker. I, it, it's built good. It's built as a golf speaker. Um, for all intents and purposes, but sound wise, I really, I give it a, a zero out of 10. Um, just a real piece of junk. So I'm going to have a link down below. If you want to purchase it or you want to see for sure, if I'm telling the truth, uh, the link down below, you can purchase there. It helps you, it helps me, but I would definitely go. There's other options out there. I'm probably going to switch to a JBL or a Bose. I'm going to get a little pricier, but by 30, 40 bucks to get something that's you know, not big and bulky for golf. I wanted something small. Uh, this is just not it. So the rock form G rock portable wireless golf speaker, um, gets zero, zero stars for me. It's just a real, real piece of junk. So 
five minutes worth of me telling you not to buy this speaker, but uh, if you do, that link's down there. So if you like this review and you just want honest reviews, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.